Friday morning for me. I'm actually dragging, but I wanted to kind of fiddle in my makeup this morning. And I know I need to do a shop mustache. I've been using these same items for I don't know how long. And so it's time to switch them out. But as usual, I do want to run through um, the items that I have been using. I just pulled them out of my drawer, got my palettes over here. I really didn't do that many looks that I took pictures of and posted, you know, on Instagram and stuff. So with this shop, my stash, I'll kind of be starting fresh, honestly, because I feel like I only posted maybe two or three looks on Instagram that I can show you from the palettes that I have been using. But several palettes, well, not several, a few palettes I've been using just over and over again. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Hi, welcome. If you're new, this is KK Shop My Stash, and I'm going to just start fresh for the month of December. If you've watched my vlog, you know that I got my eyebrows microbladed, so whatever makeup I do for the next couple of weeks will be, you know, just base makeup, minimal I look if any so yeah but I'm still gonna pick some nice palettes today you guys because I'm excited to try out some of the stuff that I got so let's just jump right in with you know the initial skin prep items that I have here so this here is the Tarte C Glotion so it's a skin perfecter but it's like you know a glowy um what do you call it moisturizer type situation i got this in my boxy charm i believe cute little bottle but i actually really like this a lot i really do and the reason why i like it so much is because of the fact that it truly does give you a nice glowy look underneath your foundation so i do like that if you like a glowy type of look this is nice nice moisturizer so i would definitely pull this again I also have here the Ulta Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. I've been using this stuff like crazy. I think this is the only primer I've been using, honestly, for the last few months because I used it, I liked it, and it just works for me as far as blurring my pores and controlling my shine. It actually works really, really nice. So I'm glad that I picked this up from Ulta Beauty. I like this a lot as well. So for foundation, I have two foundations that I've been using basically for the last couple of months. This is just the only two that I've really been using. This first one here, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. If you watch my videos or are familiar with my channel, you know that I love this stuff. Very nice, gorgeous light coverage. It's really just a tinted moisturizer. So you're not going to get that full, heavy, thick coverage. But for me, I love this one. I want a lighter coverage if I'm going in and concealing certain areas and I just want to kind of even my skin out with a nice natural finish. This I really, really like. So this, I actually bought a backup recently. So this ain't going nowhere. I really, really like that. And then for those full coverage days, full coverage nights, I do have my Huda Beauty. This is like just the perfect matte, full coverage, just full glam foundation for me. So I love this. It ain't going nowhere. I have two shades. This one is Coco. I don't know what the other shade is, but one of them is just slightly darker. I think this is the one that actually matches me really, really nicely is the cocoa. So let's talk about powders a bit. So for loose powder, I do have um, the Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter. And this one, what shade is this? Almond. So this one I actually chose 
when I purchased it, you know, to use under my eyes, like I often do with these type of powders or these shades of powder. But this one is deep enough to where I can actually use it um, to set my whole face, which is really nice, you know, if I ever decide to do that. But yeah, this shade actually works better for me to set my whole face as opposed to just using it to set my under eye concealer. So very nice powder, but it's great for all over use. I also have this CoverGirl Clean Fresh in the shade Rich, 200 Rich. Um, very nice, affordable drugstore powder. So this is what it looks like. It is a setting powder, so it's not, you know, powder foundation or anything like this. It sets my makeup very nicely. Sets my foundation, holds it in place. Very, very good powder for um, drugstore. Nice and lightweight. And this shade works perfect for me. Lastly, for powders, I believe, is this Kat Von D. I got this in my Boxy Charm. This is the Locket Powder Foundation in Deep 200. Now, I've been using the heck out of this since I got it in my Boxy Charm. Was it last month? Must have been last month. I've been using this stuff like crazy. The other day, I just used this alone. No concealer, no nothing. I just put this on my face and I felt very, very comfortable to leave the house. <laughs> so, yeah, I like this stuff a lot. This might just kind of be a staple in my makeup drawer and just stay in my drawer. I used this combined with the um, All Nighter. This is the Ultra Matte setting spray that I just started using recently and it just it worked it worked really really well I didn't have any um issues with my makeup moving around and stuff so I like this this is probably just gonna stay in my drawer okay so since I have this all-nighter here um like I said this oh my gosh I already knew I like the Urban Decay um all-nighter setting spray if I'm going out and I'm going to be out, you know, for any amount of hours, I use it. This Ultra Matte that I um, purchased to try out a few months ago or a couple months ago, I think. Finally getting around to using it. This stuff really does work. <laughs> it really does. And yeah, my finish is nice and matte. So I like this stuff. You know what? I'm going to keep this as well. Okay, so for concealers, you know what? I may as well just throw this back in the drawer. I never even used this. The CoverGirl Clean Fresh Hydrating Concealer. I pulled this, you know, because I had my CoverGirl powder. And I was like, well, let me just go ahead and try this out. I never even used it. I mean, the shade actually looks like it would work nicely for me. But every time I pulled it out, it just kind of appeared like it would be a little too orange or something. So I would always default to my Juvia's Place concealer. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this to try and force myself to try it or if I'm going to put it back. But yeah, I never even tried this. Highlighters. Let me grab the highlighters that I used. I think for the most part, that's it. Yeah. So this highlighter here, this Lumi, this is actually um, a radiant blush. This is from Shop Miss A. It's from the AOA studio. If you guys know about Shop Miss A, they have, you know, stuff on there for a dollar on their website. And, you know, extremely, extremely affordable. I was on there looking for, I don't know what I was looking for, some sponges or something maybe. And I was like, you know what, let me just grab something, try it out. Oh, I was buying some brushes, some cheap brushes to take for me to travel. And I was like, let me just try this out and see how it looks. Yo, this highlighter, well, I use it as a highlighter, obviously, because I keep calling it a highlighter, but, you know, it's supposed to be an illuminated blush. But it's just something about this. When I put it on my cheeks... Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. It's like the perfect highlighter for me, which is just like shocking because this is only a dollar. So yeah, if you're looking for a very affordable highlighter, <laughs> a beautiful highlighter as you saw, get this from Shop Miss A. It's in the shade Sin. I mean, I don't like the name that much, but it's called Sin. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's illuminated blush, but I use it as a highlighter, so Love that. I also got this um, 
Huda Beauty. I pulled this one. What is it called? Thea? This is the Nymph Kiss Glow Blush um, from Huda Beauty. Let's see if I can open this up. Okay, there we go. I bought this, obviously, because of how it looks. Absolutely gorgeous. This thing is stunning. This rose gold, uh, rose-shaped type highlighter. Beautiful. And the highlighter itself is gorgeous as well. It has that really pretty rosy gold tone to it. You can see it really, really bold right there. So I kind of have to be in a mood to wear this. You know, it's a beautiful highlighter, but it does have that pinky rosiness to it. So I kind of have to be in the mood for this, but it is absolutely stunning. Okay, so next for highlighter, I have this um, Tatiana Anissa Cosmetics Get Lit Highlighter Palette. This came out with her launch of her beauty brand. And once I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, super beautiful. Just as beautiful on the skin as it is in the palette. Gorgeous. And then I also um, used my Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey. This is another one that I got from BoxyCharm. I can't remember if I purchased it or if it came in my box, quite honestly. But it's just a highlighter palette from Beauty Bakery. And it has these different shades of highlighter in there, you know, like most highlighter palettes do. I basically gravitated to the darkest one, um, which is absolutely gorgeous, kind of bronzy. This peachy one is pretty as well. Um, they are very opaque, you know, so... You don't need a lot, but you can just see here how gorgeous they are. Very, very pretty highlighter. So yeah, very nice, gorgeous, not super glittery, glittery, but they are opaque. Okay, so next let's talk about some blushes that I used. Rare Beauty, I love the Rare Beauty kind of like cream type blushes that come in, you know, this form. Really, really like it. This is one of my absolute favorite shades from her. This one is called Love. I like the name. The shade is gorgeous as well. I'll see if I can, that's what it looks like. So, so beautiful on the skin. I love these blushes, so absolutely gorgeous. This here, <laughs> I only got to use very, very few times I'll say because every time I opened it as gorgeous as this is this is the revolution pro goddess glow shimmer brick yo as gorgeous as this is it's very intimidating to your girl it is it's kind of like that beauty bakery um that face palette that I got a long time ago where it has the really pretty like gorgeous shimmery type blush and then shimmery type bronzer bronzer and then you got your beautiful highlighters i mean this mug is gorgeous but when i tell you it it is intimidating to use it is it's the same concept as that beauty bakery palette for me gorgeous but i have to kind of be in the mood to really go bold and go a little bit glowy, you know, for this little palette here. But when I tell you Revolution Pro came through with this palette, they came through with this palette. Yo, it is a woman of colors dream for your face. You're going out at night. You want that beautiful glow when that light hits your cheekbones. Honey, this is the one. This is it right here. Absolutely gorgeous. So I also used my sleek makeup. This one is called um, the Flame Palette. It's one of their Blush by 3 palettes. And as you can see, it has a beautiful, warm, earthy kind of fall color scheme. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, there's nothing else I could say about it. It's beautiful. It has like the shimmery type. This one is more shimmery. This one's matte. I think this one has a little bit of glow to it, but absolutely beautiful. This whole palette is gorgeous. I also used my new Patrick Ta 
This is, what is it called? Major Headlines. You would think I would know that as much as I chase this mug down. But this is a Major Headlines blush palette. Let me clean it off some. Okay, hello. So that's what it looks like without blinding you. And then, you know, let's open this puppy up. Hello, hello. Do I need to even say anything? This blush palette is everything I dreamed it would be and more. I love it. I love, love, love it. It's funny. I haven't used the creams yet. Just haven't been in the mood. But the mattes, beautiful. Every single one of them, beautiful. This one, as you can see, I kind of gone ham. <laughs> Almost got rid of the pee in that one. But they're all absolutely beautiful. I love this palette. Wouldn't I trade it for the world? Next, I have here this Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit. This one is the Gradient Kit. Um, hadn't used this in a long time before I pulled it recently. And I always gravitate to this shade. This shade, if I want something nice and subtle. I really haven't done anything with those two. Those two shades are a little bit, you know, wonky for my skin tone. But beautiful light shade blush gorgeous dark shade blush this thing is so pigmented though you got to be careful because you will look like somebody socked you even if you just go in with what you think is a regular normal amount no you got to go very very light-handed with this dark plum shade down here because it is very very pigmented okay so now let's just go ahead and run through the bronzers that i used Morphe bronzer. This is the Brontour, I think. Yeah, Brontour in the shade Showmance. <sighs> yeah, I. this is an excellent bronzer for me. It's great. It's amazing. I wish the whole palette was just this matte shade right here because I really don't use this kind of, you know, shimmery. Um, what is, I can't think of the word for this today, like illuminated type situation. I wish the whole thing was this dark brown because then it'd be easier for me to just get my brush in there and go to town. Love this. Beautiful. It blends out. Amazing. Works every time. This Vesca was a new bronzer that I tried. I got it in my Boxy Charm. This one is called Kissed by Tahiti. And it is a very deep, rich shade of bronzer for me. Um, can you focus please? Hello. Anyway, this is a very rich, deep shade of bronzer for me. I was kind of intimidated by it, a little scared to use it, but after I did, it actually looks really, really nice. It is a bronzer for sure, but it actually looks really, really nice and I enjoyed using it. I don't think it's the easiest bronzer to blend out if I'm remembering correctly. But, you know, if you take your time with it, it works just fine. So, yeah, I would definitely use it again. And then lastly for bronzer, I did go ahead and use this Cab Cosmetics bronzer palette. Um, Well, contour says volume two, and there's like several shades in here. Another item I got from Boxy. Um, I tried this shade and this shade. I don't think I use this shade. So I only use these two shades out of here. This is something, and it worked nicely. It's a very nice, soft, beautiful bronzer. Not anything bold or, you know, aggressive. This is a palette that I probably will just keep in my drawer just so I can play around with it a little more. Maybe um, trying out some other shades like under my eyes and things like that just to see how they work for me, if they work for me. But it worked nicely as a bronzer. I think this shade here worked best for me. So yeah, that's that on that. Okay, so now let's just run through some of the palettes that I used. Like I said, I didn't use a lot of palettes, you know, over the last few months. My makeup application has slowed down quite a bit, but it's getting ready to pick back up. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones, y'all. Now, this ColourPop palette, Down to Earth, I've been using this mug like crazy, you guys. Using it like crazy. This is like a staple to keep. It's kind of messy, as you can see. But this is like a staple to just keep in your drawer on your vanity. It has your black, your browns, your neutrals, your 
you know, blending shades, your deepening shades. It's just perfect to just keep on your vanity. So that's pretty much where this one stays on my vanity at this point. These two palettes have also been staying on my vanity. The Lorac Pro palettes in Soleil and Noir. Both of these I gravitate to and just grab for quick, simple looks or to use shades, you know, to blend. If I just want to pop a pretty shimmer on my lid, if I need um, a transition shade, it's perfect. So this one is the Soleil, which is warm. And this one is the Noir, which is cool tone. So it has more of the gray looking tones in here. Both of these excellent palettes to have in your collection just for basic eye looks, smoking things out, beautiful shimmers. You know, if you don't really deal with a lot of color all the time, both of these are great palettes to just keep on your vanity. So I've been using those two and I love the formula actually. Um, I also used the Ace Beauty Falling For You. I used this a couple of times. I did a look with it. Uh, for Instagram, but I've also reached for it just running out, going, doing things with hubby, stuff like that. So yeah, I really like this palette. Very, very nice. I love the warm, earthy, like orangey tones in here. You have your beautiful plum shades. You can do a gorgeous, just deep smoky look to go out at night. It's it's a beautiful palette to have in your collection. So I'm so glad I grabbed this. It's gorgeous. Next, I have here the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. Picked this up recently, actually, during the, was it the, yeah, the Sephora sale, the VIB. I grabbed this. I've only used it once. Loved it. <laughs> if you saw that video, you already know I loved it when I used it. This is something that I would actually probably keep close by because it's another palette you can do a lot of just basic everyday looks, but you could really glam it up with the shimmers in here. Huda's shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. So, so glad I grabbed this. And the packaging is really pretty as well. Next, these three palettes I actually used together to create one look. Because I really didn't want to. Um, I was just being lazy at the time. I didn't want to take the time to create three different looks. <laughs> but I wanted to play in all three of these. So, I did create a look using all three of these Glam Light palettes. If you guys um, saw when I was talking about these, I could not remember the name of this collection. I still can't for the life of me. I just call it the Alcoholic Collection. But these palettes are so gorgeous. This is the Wine Palette. Beautiful. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Looking at the Look at this. What? Girl. Come on now. This one is the Dirty Martini. So this one was actually the one that caused me to buy these palettes. The purple one is gorgeous, but for some reason, this green had me in a headlock and I could not let it go. So I ended up buying the whole collection because I fell in love with that green. And then this one here is the Margarita palette. And this is what she looks like. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I did. I took shades from all three of these palettes to create this one beautiful, colorful look and enjoyed every minute of it. I already like Glam Light. Glam Light has an amazing formula. So I would definitely recommend these. If, you know, they still have them in stock and they have them on sale, girl, you better snatch them on up. Um, This Beauty Bay, Age of Opulence, I almost didn't buy it because it's so close to the Book of Magic. But then as I look closer, it's really different. It really is different. Y'all, look, child, listen, let me see if I can get this to focus on this properly okay so hopefully it's focusing i don't know y'all know i can't see but anyway this palette is gorgeous oh she pretty oh my gosh i'm just sitting here staring at it but anyway hopefully i'm putting the look that i did on the screen with this palette so you can kind of see what i did with it but absolutely gorgeous these palettes from beauty bay the quality I mean, it's like you don't want to say, well, for the price is great. The price is great, though, and the quality is great. So combine the price with the quality, 
it's out of this world, okay? So definitely would recommend if it's not already, you know, out of stock. You know, they have the whole limited edition situation with those palettes. So this one here, these two um, are the last two palettes that I kind of was playing around with. I don't think I have pictures of any looks using these palettes just because of the fact that I took these palettes with me when I went on my girl's trip. And these were the only palettes that I used in conjunction with my new singles from DJ's Unique Boutique's uh, Christmas singles. Let me grab those as well because I'm going to be pulling those also. But I took these two Playing in Makeup by Yolando palettes, and my girl DJ gave me some of her singles um, to use, and I used these in these palettes, and that's all that I used when I was out of town. So this is one of my favorites. Um, if you guys watch me, you already know the um, Jam Rock No Limitations. Oh, <laughs> I can't open this palette without damn near passing out. This palette here here oh my goodness and then i also used my artistry vault by melissa a collab palette from playing and makeup by yolando perfect for all of the blending transitions neutrals you know if i need like a dark deepening shade to you know deepen my crease with i have it is this turned out to be Perfect for travel. Absolutely perfect for travel. Along with my Jam Rock No Limitations. And then I had my gorgeous little singles from DJ's Boutique. So worked out perfectly for me when I was on the road. So that is it for the makeup that I wanted to just kind of run through. Let's go ahead and pick some new items. Okay, you guys. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the foundations first. Um, I am going to grab two. I know this one right here, I've been eyeing this <laughs> for weeks. Um, this is a KVD Good Apple Foundation and I have tanned 072. I've been wanting to dive back into this, have not used it since I first got it. And I really remember enjoying this when I first tried it. So I want to go ahead, use it. It's winter time. So I feel like I can go ahead and use something heavier on my face if I want to. And it's not going to be too bad. Because it's getting a little bit cooler. At least in the mornings and at night. During the day it's still warm in California. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And then also like I typically do. I want something a little bit lighter. And since I did purchase this um, LA Girl Tinted Foundation. I'm hoping that this is going to be something lighter for me to use. So it says buildable natural finish. LA Girl, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this to try it out. So I have, what is that, almond? Yeah, so never tried it. Let's go ahead and try this along with the good apple. So we'll do those two. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick a primer right quick. I do have an idea of what I want to use. Um, I kind of feel like I want to use my Milk Makeup. This one is almost done. It's like a little tiny sample, actually. Look at that. That much. I don't even know if I'll be able to get any out of there without standing it up. Let's see. Yeah, so I'll stand that up. Ah, uh, do I have another one? Oh, I got this Thirst Aid from Fourth Ray ColourPop. This is a hydrating priming moisturizer so this is a maybe i might pull two primers because i really want to use my milk makeup i know i have another one in here somewhere i just don't know where is it in the back oh the hood of beauty is really good okay milk makeup where are you where are you because i knew i have another full size one this is a mess i know y'all don't be talking mess in the comments i know this is a hot mess hold on let me find my milk makeup y'all i cannot find it maybe it's a milk makeup moisturizer that i'm thinking about do they have a moisturizer that i'm thinking about because i could have swore i had a large maybe it's the setting spray 
dang it, I gotta give me some milk makeup primer. Anyway, because I could have swore I had another one. So I'm gonna pull this fourth ray first aid in the meantime, because I know I want to use that. Um, this I'm just gonna let this sit up until it <laughs> goes to the bottom so I can see how much I actually have. Um and Gosh, unless I can find my other milk makeup for now, I guess I'll just pull my Huda Beauty because this is really, really nice. I like this as well. This is the water jelly primer. So I'll go ahead and pull this for now. But if I find a milk makeup primer, I'm going to grab it. Okay, so that's it for now. I know, I know. Okay, so moisturizer. Mm. Uh, sheesh. Y'all, what is this? Super hydrate. I th oh, I just got that. I just got that. That's new. Um, ooh, the milk is really good. Dang. Don't want to do milk. I kind of want to do the glow recipe watermelon glow i'm kind of in the mood for that yeah let's do this this is a little bit more lightweight but this is an amazing moisturizer so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this uh serums i've kind of been keeping my serum in the bathroom and just using that more so than having it with my makeup so i think that's probably what I'm going to continue to do. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to pull another serum. I am using my tomato serum in the bathroom currently. And I think that's fine, actually. You know, I take care of my skincare in the skincare in the morning. So that's fine. I don't need to pull a serum right now. Uh, concealer. I did decide to go ahead and keep the CoverGirl concealer in my drawer <laughs> just because, you know, I need to use it. I need to try it. So it's, you know, it's the same one. I think maybe that kind of turns me off. The fact that it separates and it's so orange that that, you know, really kind of turns me off. You know, of course you can shake it up or whatever, but I don't know. I ain't really feeling that. So... I think I'm going to do Uma Beauty. So I'm going to use my Uma Beauty um, Stay Woke Concealer this time. And I'll go ahead and try the uh, CoverGirl one that I already have in my drawer. And that should do it for mascara. I have been using my Pat McGrath mascara. But I want to try this ColourPop. This is a Level Up Lengthening Mascara. It's still in the box. It's a really skinny. Um, I'm doing this one-handed today, you guys. But it's a really skinny, um, you know, uh, mascara container. And the wand looked really nice. So I do want to go ahead and try this. So I'm going to pull this. Um, I actually have plenty of lashes that are right next to my vanity in the drawer, so I'm not going to pull anything out of here. I don't, I don't need to pull any lashes. I have plenty by my vanity. So let's move on to highlighter. Um, girl, oh, 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 yes, I already know. For sure, I want to use this new, what is this, um, a Holiday Fable? Yes, yeah, the, yeah, y'all see it. I'm not about to try and say that. Is it, it, anyway, yeah, I'm going to pull this. <laughs> Let me see if I can open this without destroying it because it's gorgeous. Y'all, look at this. What? Yes, I'm going to use it and I'm going to mess up that gorgeous pattern, but I'm going to pull this. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's see. Do I want to pull any more singles? Um, Y'all know I love trying new stuff. That's why I buy it. <laughs> this is the new LYS highlighter. I think this is pretty, this might be pretty close to the tone of that one that I just pulled. 
Oh, but she pretty. Oh, she pretty. Dang. Am I going to pull this? This is aim high. Hmm. That's a strong maybe, you guys. A very strong maybe. I haven't used my Nabla in quite a while. Very beautiful gold shade. Lucent Jungle. Maybe I'll pull this. I haven't used this in a long time. So yeah, let's go ahead and pull that. Okay, so... I don't think there's anything in here really that I want to pull. Not at this juncture. I've used a lot of this stuff recently, so I don't think I'm pulling anything out of here. And since I'm going gold, this, uh, I love this stuff. Y'all know, I like to just keep this in my drawer. This is just so beautiful and so easy to use. Um, What is this? Frequency, have I used this? Okay. Yeah, I must have used this because it's used. Oh, that's pretty. Looks kind of glittery though, huh? Dang, that's pretty though. But yeah, I'll pass. I don't need that right now. Mm, ABH. ABH. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to pass on anything out of there. Palettes. Oh, this is that gorgeous uh, Soul Body, that purple highlighter that came in that collection. Um, the one that I did the video on, and the highlighter was actually gorgeous. Wild Orchid. Yeah, this one is pretty. Let me open this. Yeah, this one is absolutely gorgeous. It's a little intimidating because it looks purple, but you can see it has that beautiful gold in there. Oh, she pretty. You know what? Mm, I think I might pull this. I'm going to go ahead and pull this. I only played with it that one time for my video. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Okay, that's enough highlighter. Let's look for bronzer. I'm just so lazy, you guys. I just be grabbing stuff on top um, when I know I need to dig through these bronzers. Sephora. The Sephora is a good one. Um, what is this? CoverGirl. That's a good one. The Milani is a good one. Um, Beauty Bay. This one looks uh, kind of deep. Button. Hmm. Should I try this? Hold on. Let me open it. Okay. So, yeah. This one, that looks nice, actually. I think I might pull that. Yeah, I think I might pull that. Um, Do I want to do a cream? Not really. I'm not in the mood for cream, honestly. Mm, this is another Revolution Pro sculpting bronzer. Uh what is it called? Enrobe. Oh, this one is really pretty. I remember this one looking really, really nice on my skin. So, yeah, I think I'm going to pull this one too. I know I don't feel like digging, so I'm being kind of lazy, you guys. But these will work just, just fine for me for now. Okay, let's just dig a little bit more. What is this? Uh, Revolution. Revolution, they went ham creating, you know, bronzers for all skin types over the last couple of years. This is that palette I was talking about, you guys, when I said that that face palette, the small one from uh, Revolution was like intimidating with that beautiful, you know, bold blush and highlight and bronzer. This is basically the exact same thing, just in larger form exact same thing absolutely gorgeous but yeah it's, it's a little intimidating so yeah i think i'm good for now i think uh i'm gonna use no tart mm, revolution why am i drawn towards revolution right now what is that about 
eyeshadow. Oh, I haven't used any of my Sephora Pro Face Palettes in a minute either. Let me see if I can open this up with one hand. Oh, the angels just started singing when I opened that up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all seeing this? Child, let me pull this palette. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, you guys, I'm not even going to look at my um other blushes. This drawer here. I don't know what it is lately. I just have not been wanting to deal with the little singles. Even this drawer, um, you know, it's still singles. I got these new Huda Beauty blushes that I haven't tried yet, the glowish ones. Y'all, these things are tiny. <laughs> they might look big, but they're actually really, really small. So this one is the coral one, which is really light. I'm not sure about that one. And then this one, I think, is the, what is it called? Yeah, Berry Juicy. This one, I'm pretty sure it's going to work for me because it is Berrylicious. So, yeah. That's what she looks like. That's what she said. <laughs> so, I'm definitely going to pull this one. This lighter coral one, I'll probably deal with at a later date because... I'm not in the mood for that anyway. More spring, summer type vibe. I did pick up this little Doja Cat um, blush palette, which is very, very light. Has that pretty peachy shade in there, which will probably work for me. It's very, very light, y'all. I need to try it just to see if it'll work. I think I'm going to pull this because I wanted to pull this before and I didn't. Let me open it. This is that Ofra Squad Compact with the blush and the bronzer in there. The one that I was just gushing over. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this now because I do want to use it. It's pretty. It's a two-in-one. Let's pull her. Okay, you guys. So I'm probably going to pick quite a few blushes just because I really want to try out a few things. I'm curious about this Melt um, blush palette here. I do want to try this out. It has like highlighter in there, blush, um, shimmery blush, you know, and it's not very deep. So yeah, I'm kind of curious as to how it's going to fare on my skin tone. This one, what is it called? I bought this one. I bought the new palette. So yeah, this is Monarcha. Monarcha. So it's absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm going to pull this because I'm curious. <sighs> um, I'm pretty sure this will work for me. This one is the uh, Rouge Romance from Jaclyn. The warmer one. You see how much more color this looks like it has. Maybe I should pull this one instead of the Melt because I know this one will work for me. It's really pretty. So yeah, I think I'm going to deal with the Melt later and I'm going to pull the Rouge Romance from Jaclyn Cosmetics. I also want to try this NARS, but I'm not going to pull too many blushes. I already have the Glowish, the Ofra. Now I have the Jacqueline and I have my Pro Face palette from Sephora. So I don't need no more blush right now. Okay. So we go, we go chill with the blushes for a minute. I think, yeah, these are like all around kind of multi-use face. But what kind of highlighter? I only chose two highlighters, huh? Oh, this right here is one of my absolute faves. Cha. Ah. Dang, I'm going to pull it. <laughs> I'm going to pull it. The Revolution Pro Blush and Glow. This is one of my favorites. Listen, y'all just going to have to deal with me with a lot of different blushes. Okay, that's it. Okay, so let's move on to powder so we can finish up. Okay, so instead of me struggling in the drawer trying to open up powders, I just pulled the ones I want. I'm going to use this Black Opal True Color for my setting powder. 
This one is in the shade Dark, 500 Dark. And it's a really nice shade. I like this powder um, a lot. And then I'm also pulling my DJ's Unique Boutique in the shade Honey. This is the loose powder. So I'm going to use this underneath my eyes to set my concealer. Absolutely one of my favorites. So those will be my two powders. Okay, you guys. So now that I have pulled all of my complexion items, I believe I grabbed everything. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the palettes that I want to use for this shop my stash i also grabbed um i got my ColourPop order finally um the one that i ordered not too long ago that had like the new palettes and pencils in it but i don't know if you can see this this is the um new eyeliner pencils i don't know if all these shades are new you guys can probably hear my dog out there howling i don't know he's just anyway but it's called it's a dream and i don't know if all these pencils these shades are new but they're so pretty that i had to go ahead and grab them because i actually really like color pop liner so i'm going to grab this to use as well also i went ahead and picked up this little palette collection called if you like <laughs> so it has um five of their new palettes in this little collection thing here. I'll probably put a picture on the screen so I don't have to open all of these up, you know, right now. Who has time for that? Because I got to open the box, take it out, da, 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 da. But I'm thinking definitely of using the blue, which is Social Butterfly, Fly Away, this pretty kind of like earthy green. I don't know. I might try and use all of them, honestly. But those two for sure of course so i did pull that i also got this new pad from or this new palette from nomad i actually purchased this one i don't know if they were going to send me pr or not quite possibly they might have sent it to me and i just didn't get it because my p.o box now that we have an actual physical location for our business i no longer have my p.o box so i did switch the address in my description box so if they did send me pr i don't know if they got you know if they have my new address or not but this is their holiday palette it's called home for the holidays packaging so so cute so so cute and then this is the actual palette look how blinged out and beautifully gorgeous this is this is so so pretty i love this it's a limited edition eyeshadow palette from nomad cosmetics and these are the colors do you see that all beautiful glowy shimmers except for this matte black in here so you know i know that some brands are kind of doing that for fun every now and then coming out with a palette with absolutely gorgeous shimmers and then they throw in the matte black because you can always use that as a base crease work to smoke it out but you got to know how to use your black okay you got to be careful with it so but this is so pretty oh my gosh it is gorgeous absolutely beautiful 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 i can't wait to play with this um my danessa myricks um which i did pull as well is like that you know with her gorgeous shimmers and then it has the one i think hers might be a creamy black though i'm not sure so i did pull that um i pulled the new melt cosmetics palette look at that isn't it gorgeous? Oh, she's pretty. It's called Amor y Mariposa. Amor y Mariposa. Look at that. Of course, you guys know I love butterflies. I just had something almost just like this <laughs> tattooed on my arm. So, you know, I love butterflies. But this is a what she look like. So pretty. So it has a beautiful earthy um, tone to it to me with the greens, the plums. The beautiful peachy um, shades as well. It's gorgeous. I like it. I think it'll create a beautiful eye look. Has some beautiful shimmers in there to go along with those mattes. But I really love this packaging. It's absolutely beautiful. I pulled that. I also pulled my Blend Bunny Cosmetic Surge. I've never tried Blend Bunny, so I did grab this palette just so I can go ahead and get my feet wet. See how I like their formula. My favorite row is this dark row in the middle. Absolute favorite row. I know, you know, the shimmers are beautiful, honey. 
but your girl loves a gorgeous deep matte so i can't wait to play with that um my danessa myricks i pulled this as well because i bought this mug to use it okay i did not buy this a lot of pat mcgrath palettes i'll buy and they sit on the shelf and it doesn't really bother me but this danessa myricks Lightwork palette. What is this one called? Lightwork Volume 3. Infinite Light Palette. This one I specifically bought to play with. So she gonna get used. She gonna get dirty. Okay. So this is what this looks like. Oh, she's gorgeous. See, in the camera, this looks brown, but to me, it looks green. I don't I can't even show. See that? There it goes. You see that? You see how it's green? And then it turned brown for you guys. Cha. Look at that. Uh, uh, uh. So anyway, yeah, these these shimmers are shifting, honey. See if I can see like this one here, it looks gold. Absolutely yellow gold to me. And for you guys, it's looking like peachy orange, I think. See? You see? You see that? You see that shift in there? Child. Anyway, it's gorgeous. So I pulled that. Like I said earlier, I did pull my DJ's Unique Boutique. Um, her latest singles that she released for the holiday. So I'm definitely going to be playing with those because they're beautiful. Perfect for this time of year. Um, I also pulled my Viseart. This is the Bijouette. The Bijouette palette. Let me go ahead and open it, honey, because... Even though my camera, I'm sure, is not going to do it justice, neither do pictures. This mug looks gorgeous in person. But let me go ahead and take this plastic off. Look at her. Ain't she gorge? Look at that. Oh, she pretty. I love palettes like this that have the warm tones or just neutral tones. And then they have those pops of color. But the color... It's like those beautiful shimmers that you could pop on your lid, you know? Absolutely gorgeous. This shade up here, this like orangey shade with the little sequins in there. Gorgeous. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use that. And out of these two last palettes, I don't know if I'm going to use these together or if I'm going to pick one to use separately. I grabbed this Plain and Makeup by Yolando noble blues i grabbed this one first because i was like "Ooh, i want to use that i like those tones of blue i want to try it out you know especially this i mean something like this just pop that all over my lid gorgeous so anyway i pulled this but then as i was looking at that i also saw my metamorphosis palette from Pink Crush Cosmetics and Krista Rice Makeup, little collab palette, you know, that I bought a while ago, actually. And this one kind of gives me the same type of vibes, same type of feels. But um, the reason why I was thinking about pulling both of them is because this shimmer in the Yolando one, oh my goodness. This mug, it's like a purple and blue multi-chrome. You guys can't tell, but yeah, it is a like purple and blue multi-chrome shimmer that I want to use. And then in the Metamorphosis palette, this gorgeous blue right here, I think that's kind of like a duochrome as well. Um, but it's just, it's hard to say. No, it looks like a straight blue when I swatch it, actually. But, child, look at... It's just gorgeous. Look at that. It's beautiful. So, that makes me want to pull this. And then this shimmer. Let me swatch it from the Plan and Makeup by Yolando palette. This one is definitely a duochrome. This one here, this is the Yolando one. Um, with the purple and blue shift in there. I don't know. You guys probably can't see it. But yeah, there's like a purple and blue shift in that one. So I want to use, you can see it a little bit. I want to use both of these shimmers. See if I 
dang yeah it still looks blue but there's purple in there you can see it a little bit if you if you squint but anyway i want to use both of these shimmers so i'm gonna pull both of them i mean ain't no rules i can do what i want so anyway those are my palettes let me go ahead and clean up right quick okay you guys so i have all of my new shop my stash items i have my complexion i have my eyes and all I have to do is just put this stuff away in my drawers and I'm good to go. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to shop again for December. Um, I know it's been a minute, but we're back at it, you guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you're not subscribed to your girl. And I'll see you on the next one. Toodles.